Good day everyone, welcome to another episode in our What If series where we bring you insights in the format of a What If question on the ever-evolving landscape of employment law. I am Ross Simon from Masrimule and in today's episode we unpack what if an employer terminates an accepted offer of employment after learning about the employee's previous criminal record, what are the applicable legal considerations and implications. The employer LexisNexis, a well-known publisher of legal and other academic texts, advertised the position during December 2023. The position was for a senior data discovery and enrichment expert, which entailed organizing and classifying the information published in its various legal products. The employee, Mr. O'Connor, applied for the position. On the 20th of January 2024, the employer reached out to the employee, requesting further information for the further processing of his application, since his interview had been positive. The request for information included the completion of a REF, check, consent and indemnity form. When completing the form, the employee recorded yes when asked if he had ever been criminally charged. He stated on the form for theft in 2001, which had been expunged. On the 29th of January, the employer sent an email to the employee stating that it was pleased to offer him permanent employment in the advertised position effective from the 15th of February until the 31st of October 2024. The email also provided that the contract of employment would be sent once acceptance of the offer had been received and that the offer of employment was subject to ref check verifying the employee's credentials as valid, criminal checks being clear and a positive reference from a previous employer. The employee accepted the offer on the same day. Accordingly, the employee was given access to the employer's workday schedule portal where he would receive his daily work schedule. On the 6th of February, the employer emailed the employee stating that it was now retracting the conditional offer of employment because the criminal checks had revealed that he had a criminal record dating back from 2001. The employee responded that the conviction took place some 20 years ago and that his criminal record had been expunged. The employee approached the Labour Court on an urgent basis contending that the employer unfairly discriminated against him by retracting its offer of employment because of his criminal past. The court considered the code of good practice on the integration of employment equity into human resources and practices which holds an employer should only conduct integrity checks such as verifying the qualifications of an applicant, contacting credit references and investigating whether the applicant has a criminal record if this is relevant to the requirements of the job. Furthermore, an employer may not collect personal data regarding an employee's sex life, political, religious or other beliefs or criminal convictions, except in exceptional circumstances where such information may be directly relevant to an employment decision. The court held that these provisions strongly suggest that excluding an applicant from employment on the basis of a criminal history would constitute unfair discrimination in the circumstances where that criminal history is irrelevant to the requirements of the job. Such an exclusion would be arbitrary because the decision would be without rational justification. Relying on the seminal decision of Hawkson versus Lane, where the Labour, Co where the Labour Appeal Court rather held that a claim for unfair discrimination on an arbitrary ground under the Employment Equity Act can only be sustained if the discrimination is based on attributes or characteristics which have the potential to impair the fundamental dignity of persons as human beings or to affect them adversely in a manner that is comparably as serious as discrimination on a listed ground such as race, gender and culture. Bearing in mind Section 6 of the Employment Equity Act which states that it is not unfair discrimination to distinguish, exclude or prefer any person on the basis of an inherent, inherent requirement of a job. The question before the court was whether it was an, an inherent requirement of the job for the employer's senior data discovery and enrichment expert to be able to demonstrate a clear criminal check. More particularly, would the employee's criminal history have in any way affected his ability to do his job. Judge Mayowitz was alive to the fact that despite the two decades past and the expungement of his record, convictions of theft, fraud and defeating the course of justice might preclude the applicant from taking up positions that require trust and honesty. 
The judge held that on the papers before the court, there was no indication that the position of senior data discovery and enrichment expert requires any significant amount of trust and honesty, and certainly not so much that the possibility of the employee's rehabilitation should be completely disregarded. The employee was to conduct his work from his home in the Eastern Cape, over the internet, using his own resources, whereas the employer's main offices are situated in KwaZulu-Natal. Accordingly, the employer's criminal history is not relevant to the job which the employer had denied him, which in turn means that the employer's decision to deny the employee the job on the sole basis of his criminal history constitutes unfair discrimination within the meaning of Section 6 of the Employment Equity Act. LexisNexis was ordered to employ the employee within 10 days after judgment was made. This case offers us much direction in matters involving contracts of employment which contain resolutive conditions calling for clean criminal records. Employers are encouraged, encouraged rather, to carefully consider the nature of the advertised position and the inherent requirements of the job in circumstances where an offer of employment is made subject to the confirmation of a clean criminal record in that the unilateral termination of an offer of employment based on a previous criminal record in the circumstances where the criminal history is not relevant to the job may amount to unfair discrimination. That brings us to an end of this week's episode. Thank you for joining us and we hope you have found our discussion informative. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. You can find us on social media or you can email me on ross at massconsulting.co.za. Until next time, bye-bye.